The truth is, nothing beats a very hot meal on a very cold, wintry day, except perhaps a nice warm bed. So, pork and beans, it'll fill you up, it'll warm you up. You will want to use your favorite brand of kidney beans. As a matter of fact, this is one meal that you should use your favorite brand. That also goes, of course, to your favorite brand of ketchup. Because this meal is very simple. It is just kidney beans simmered in ketchup, basically. And of course, to add flavor to your kidney beans simmered in ketchup, you want to use salt pork. Now, that's my favorite type of a pork. I like salt pork. Four ounces to one can of beans, and that's it. Now, I cut them up in little chunks, just like you see on the screen. Little chunks, about four ounces, and this is gonna add the flavor to my pork and beans. You don't have to, of course, but what I did was I put it in a microwave oven for a minute and a half to get as much as the fat out because what I want is flavor. The final ingredients of course is cane sugar. Light brown cane sugar. One and a half teaspoons of light brown cane sugar. That ought to do it, but you should season to taste. Bring it all to a boil and once it starts to boil then you turn your stove down and you allow it to simmer for about one and a half hours. Of course, at the end of that period, I enjoyed mine on a bed of rice. You should enjoy yours any way you wish. But there you have it. On a cold day, a very hot meal of beans and pork. Pork and beans. Voila.